viruses. This is my world. Open your eyes and cry. Like a hen era urn dropping on the marble floor. My words break to pieces on this sheet of paper shaking in your hand. Sharp shards cut the flesh to bleed. The ghost of the dead escape from slumber and dwell amidst the frightened children of man, preaching desolation and shame. I opened my eyes and I saw the image of a woman of great beauty. Men kissed her hand or died. She had conceived. Yet men kissed her lips or died. She had conceived and grown beyond proportion. Still all men needed to kiss her breasts or die like twin boys under a she-wolf. She had conceived and her hour had come, the terrible hour of the birth of fear. A hot wind blew over the lush country, over the city in the coldest season, where the trees stood like black gallows in the grey streets. Children were shouting and angry mothers trying to silence them. The silence was gloom and the hot wind, like a blazing fire at dusk, whistled over the roof, the rooftops. Who can see the storm in the bright sky? Who will stop the wind with his bare hands? Why write? E taught me to write a poem. For once I wondered why. Never I would have doubted or hesitated, but I do now. A country is in turmoil. A city is cut from the rest of us who with no solution feel both guilty and under threat. Man, both innocent and impotent, stands naked before himself. Who is he? What's his need? Not more technology, I guess, but of life, the quintessence, or the rebirth of its poetry. Friends. A wall has been erected between my friends and me, not of bricks or iron, but of air and melody. A prison has been closing around them and they fear behind unbreakable bars of silence, misery and tears. In the winter yard I hear air-headed birds and they sing of an inevitable spring. They sing against all reason about an improbable season to rise in this desperate year. Solitude. When the elephant is tired, she leaves the herd and alone returns to the secret zone where she knows her mother died. When the tiger is too old, he decides to be on his own. He dines on the candid villagers before he also passes on. 
when a man stands at his feet. Don't let him walk alone into the solitary ozone. He needs you as his exit mate. Lend him your ear and heart. Lend him your poetry and art.